Good morning YouTube, a bit of a change of scenery this morning. Uh, I'm actually recording the video from, uh, from my car, I hope you don't mind. Um, this is going to be, I'm going to be talking about the 72 hours water fasting that uh, I did last week. I wanted to wait a bit before giving you feedback on, on, um, on, on that experiment, essentially, which what it was. Uh, because that way I could see the effect uh, on my body, on my mind, on whatever you um, after the uh, the fast, and not necessarily just after the euphoria of being able to eat again. Uh, so just uh, a quick reminder: um, why did I why did I do a water fasting, a seventy two hours water fasting? Uh, number one was to boost my immune system, to boost my immune system. Um, not only because of COVID, but obviously COVID has, uh, has played a role. Uh, everybody is very quick to uh, sell you medicines or vaccines or what have you. And I'm not going to go into that debate. Uh, but I want to try to boost my immune system as much as I can uh, instead of getting anything else from, from anybody. Although vaccination, I think, is a useful tool. Not in the case of uh, COVID for now, as, as it stands. Um, the other one was detox. Uh, it's a stressful period. I carry st some uh, some stress. Stress brings toxins. Uh, essentially, I've got them here in my back, um, and that was a way for me to test whether whether that would work. Um, weight loss was a almost like a secondary objective. Uh, I've lost quite a bit of weight weight recently. Uh, I've st stopped drinking alcohol altogether, so that as a result, I lost weight. That that was very easy. Um, so losing weight was easy, not stopping alcohol. Um, and so that was more like a secondary objective, although it definitely played a role. Um, and the other one was a personal challenge. Um, I've never gone more than 24 hours or 15 hours without eating. Uh, and I wanted to know whether the, uh, the discipline and the willpower to, uh, to do it. Uh, and it turns out I have, uh, and it's one of the things that I will be talking about later on. A 72 hour water fast is not a benign affair. So you definitely need to do some research. If you've got any medical um, condition, see with your doctor, what have you. I mean, it's, I mean, 24 hours, no problem. 72 hours, I would say you sleep. Um, depending on your age and your, your physical condition, I would definitely seek uh, medical advice before you do that. But bear in mind that it's completely doable. Uh, you're not, if, if you're a normal individual, um, this, you're not putting any, your, your body at risk whatsoever, providing uh, you drink a lot of water uh, during your fast. So do do some research. Uh, if once you set a date, um, I would advise that uh, you empty your fridge. I mean, not completely, but all the things that are can be temptations. Uh, I would definitely advise that uh, you remove them. Um, I go and buy some water you're going to need at least three or three uh, liters of water a day so um, go and buy the stuff that you need what worked for me and it sounds silly but I actually journaled uh, I planned my menus for, for the three days so it was like coffee in the morning water during the day and herbal tea in the evening uh, but writing it down actually helps me visualizing what I was going to intake what was going to be my intake and how how little uh, it was but at least i had an idea already about uh, the content of of um, of my day when you do plan if and when you do plan something like this make sure you've got no major commitments uh, i mean your your energy level is going to drop uh, a bit or significantly depending on on, on your personal condition and circumstances uh, don't if you're uh, if if you're at work uh, and you you have to use heavy machineries all of that forget about it don't do it under the circumstances. I cleared my calendar. I had pretty much only cerebral stuff to do. Um, I didn't have to uh, drive anywhere. I didn't have my kids that week, so I didn't have to cook for them uh, or 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 have major um, major commitments. So all I had to do was 
go with go through my experiment um netflix was a great help i'm not advertising it uh, but it's it's uh, the days are can be long so again plan some activities but don't plan things that can be physically challenging uh, or or dangerous um the night before uh, I had a big meal, started my fast at 7 o'clock in the evening. The reason I did that is because I, by the time I woke up the following morning, I was already 8 hours or 9 hours or 10 hours uh, in my fast. So that was a good way of, of kickstart and fast forward to, uh, to, the, to the first 10 hours. The, f the first day is really about getting used to anger. Um, in the sense that, I mean, not initially, because obviously you're going to have your, you've, you've got loads of energy at the beginning. Uh, but by the time you get to 15, 16, 17, 20 hours, your, your stomach starts, to, you start to be hungry. Um, the good news is that that level of hunger that you're, that you're getting is not going to get worse. Um, so whatever you're feeling, after the 10th, 12, 15, 16 hours, that's the maximum pain or discomfort you're going to um, to have to deal with. Uh, and in fact, you're going to have to deal with in phases because you will realize afterwards that you're not hungry all the time. You're only, essentially, you're, you're actually hungry only at meal hours, which is the weird thing and which shows how conditioned we are um, about food. So again, no real difficulties uh, on day one get accustomed get accustomed to the slight discomfort um drink loads of water uh if it's if you're doing it in winter there's nothing drink hot water uh it's uh it's it's helping as well i slept really well on day one um i was pleased with my first day achievement uh and i went to bed and i slept like a log on day two, uh, day two, things start to get a bit tricky. So in the morning, I had my coffee and then I planned uh, to go around for walks and that kind of things. And I could I could feel that my energy level was dropping in, in phases. So it, it wasn't constant, but I could see that uh, I was starting to be a bit weak. The other thing I noticed is that if I would, if I had to, if I stand up, if I stood up uh, quickly, my head, I would come, be, I would come dizzy, uh, slight, slightly dizzy. Uh, so something to be aware of. Uh, look after yourself. Don't do any major um, exercise or things, but keep busy to get your, to keep your head out of your of your stomach, essentially. Uh, I have to admit, day two was uh, was long, uh, especially the evening after dark. Uh, I was, I thought, okay, no, this is this is getting a bit uh, a bit tricky. Um, on top of that, I didn't sleep well that night, and I don't know whether it's related to that or anxiety on other stuff or whatever. I just didn't sleep well. Um, the good news is, I woke up really energized on day three, um, and that was kind of a surprise because obviously having having not slept properly um the night before and not eaten for 24 uh, for 48 hours by now uh, by then um it was uh, a nice surprise to feel still fresh and energized in the morning uh and in fact that's pretty much how i felt throughout the day i would still feel a bit dizzy if i st if i stood up um too quickly uh but i had some energy i was doing stuff on the computer um sending letters writing uh, making phone calls what have you i mean all of that you can completely function your brain activity is is there uh, you might find that you struggle to concentrate for a long period of time but i think it might be i mean procrastination is is uh, is common these days so it's it's just accentuated slightly uh, but day three was great uh, and then we i had the last maybe three hours where I started to really get jittery and look really looking forward to uh, to what I was going to eat in the evening. Um, so I went to do so, I actually went to do some, some food shopping and bought some really fresh produce. Um, so I could start 
re uh, putting food into my body that was actually uh, nice and fresh having been detoxed for for three days for 72 hours i wasn't gonna go any the burger it's it's actually not advised um to take too much i mean you'll see i mean you'll, you'll get very satiated very quickly uh, on the first thing i ate was actually cheese but that was more for taste i was so looking forward to to flavors in my mouth i was actually that's the thing. When I was looking forward to putting flavors in my mouth, I didn't need to eat for anger. I didn't need to eat for anything else. It was really just psychological. Um, and I made myself uh, a, a small bowl of uh, stew and beans and what have you, and which which I could hardly finish. So I had, I had to eat about two two or three times that evening to have an, a normal portion of food. Uh, but anyway, so I was I was very pleased I did that. Uh, would I do it again? Probably something I would do maybe once a year now um, to incorporate that in my uh, in my lifestyle. Now that uh, essentially I know that I can do it. Um, what's What's interesting is that after. So sorry, in in terms of uh, of benefit detox. I, I can't uh, judge. I feel I felt much better in my body. That's for sure. Uh, after the three days, um, weight loss. I've lost three kilos, uh, but I've regained some um, as I reintroduced normal food into my uh, my life. So that's why also diet cannot. I mean, l losing weight is only a temporary thing. Uh, you might you might lose one or two kilos at the end of it ultimately. But it's not something that is going to set you for for a long time. Uh, feeling great, flat tummy, uh, everything uh, works fine. I'm energized. Uh, my body feels great. I, I, I exercise again. All of that is uh, is is um, is fantastic. The one thing that I did notice is so before doing that, I I was uh, eating quite a lot of sugar. Uh, probably as a result of, of um, getting rid of alcohol altogether, but I was eating quite a lot of sugar and doing that experiment has actually helped me um, dissociate myself from that bad habit that I had. Uh, because if you're not drinking, if you're not eating anything for, um, for three days, then you realize that whatever you do for comfort, in terms of food, um, is is doesn't do anything because you're not there's no discomfort in 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 that experiment. You the the, the or the discomfort that you feel is the same that you feel with food or without food. So you don't need whatever bad habit that you've got in your life, um, whether you're uh, snacking or whether you're eating sweets or whether you've got something in particular that you, that you can't you think you can't do without. Uh, like chocolate or whatever, you you can actually do that. And and for me, dissociating myself from my bad habit was probably the biggest benefit um, of that entire um, experiment. Which is why I I, I do recommend it. Um, I do recommend it. I don't know whether you, I don't know what else to say. Just just prepare for it. Um, and make sure you uh, set yourself the right time, visualize for it, tell your friends that you're doing it so that that way you don't feel uh, too isolated. You will feel an, an enormous amount of pride uh, once you complete that. I mean, it's it's as well as feeling good because of, of the, the, the fasting, you will have that sense of achievement and that is a major uh plus as well so good good luck out there stay safe um be good and respect take care bye